Hello St. Stephen's family. Seth and I wanted to record a video to share about a new season of ministry for Seth and his family, as well as the St. Stephen's family. And so we're going to start off by having Seth share some news with you. Thanks, Clint. For those of you that don't know, uh, I want to share a little bit of history about my time here at St. Stephen's Church. In 2010, I was recruited to come to the Holy Cross Fellows Program. It's a version of the Fellows Program that is focused on church planting. So I was trained in how to plant a church. In 2015, St. Stephen sent me and others to plant a church in Bellevue. And that was a great season and I learned a lot. But three years ago, Clint invited me to come back on staff at St. Stephen's Church. And that's been a great time of rest and recuperation for me and my family. But something got in me during the Holy Cross Fellows Program. Uh, I think God has made me to be a church planter. And over the last 10 months or so, I have been feeling that call to, to plant again. And recently, an opportunity has come to the surface. Um, there, there's a group of people in Frederick, Maryland that have invited us to come and plant a church with them. And we have received that call and responded and accepted that call. And so we are excited to go plant a church in Frederick, Maryland. Why Frederick? Well, it's a community, it's, a, it's the second largest city in Maryland and there is no ACNA church. In fact, there are very few uh, rooted historical evangelical churches in that community. And a lot of people are gathering there and really wanting to see an Anglican church planted. They've been praying for a church planting pastor actually for two years. And so Lara and I have found that to be very compelling and we are very excited but sad at the same time to be leaving this church community. But we trust that the Lord is leading this process. We really feel that He has been opening doors for us, and um, we're thrilled to step through them with Him. So I think it's important at this point just to stop and, and pause for a moment. Because obviously this is really great news for Seth and his family. We're excited for this new ministry season that God has called them into. We're excited for this church that gets to experience the pastoral leadership that Seth will provide them. But it's sad for us, and it's okay to acknowledge that. I think at this point, sometimes it's good to remember that one of our ministry pillars is that we enrich the broader church by raising up lay and ordained leaders and then sending them out. But even while we acknowledge that we do that, it's sometimes hard in these moments not to feel like we're enriching the rest of the church and impoverishing ourselves. And so we have to remember that the Lord is faithful. He always provides the people and the resources that we need to do the work to which He has called us to do. We've just announced that we are calling Colin Reed as our new assistant rector for pastoral care and he'll be getting um, his ministry with us in June. We will also in the next few days begin a process of um, finding a new vicar who will serve as the senior associate pastor helping me lead and pastor the church in, in a lot of different ways. But in the meantime it's, it's a time to grieve, it's a time to pray. And so I, I would encourage you to be praying for the Zimmermans and all of the details of the transition that is in front of them between now and their departure to Frederick. I would encourage you to be praying for one another as we grieve the loss of a pastor and a friend that we love so much. And to be praying for our church that we will continue to flourish as the Lord continues to show His faithfulness to us as a church. Just to give you a little bit of a timeline, um, we will have a great send-off day for Seth and Laura and their children on our Memorial Day weekend service. So be looking about for details about that coming up soon. In the meantime, if you have any questions, if there's anything that you would like to talk about, 
feel free to reach out to Seth or myself. We would be happy to meet with you.